So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this lab. So click on start lab and open the console incognito window. Now, if you're new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now follow the tutorial carefully so that you get full score on this lab. Now here you'll get some kind of pop-up. Just click on I agree, agree and continue. And in the first step, we have to activate the cloud shell. Don't worry, I'll show you how you have to do it. Here simply you can see the icon next to the Gemini button. You have to click on it. And here basically the cloud shell activates. Now here you have to click on continue and then authorize yourself. Please follow the video carefully because if you miss a single step, you won't get full score on this lab. And this lab is recently updated and this is the only one solution which is working. So let's complete it together. Now here you have to click on continue and simply authorize yourself. So once it is done, in the description box of this video first of all let me increase the font size in the description box there is a github section you have to click on it you'll be redirected to this url now here paste it now here i want to say that here you may see some kind of error so do not panic it's normal so here this task will take at least 15 to 20 minutes so make sure you are free then only complete the lab so just wait for this to get completed and after that we have to do some of the manual steps so that we get full score on this lab now wait for it to get completed and it will take basically as i said earlier 20 minutes sometimes even more or sometimes even early also so do not worry about it just wait Now after 20 minutes here you can see the user interface is like this. You can see here we have a link to create the APG proxy. You have to click on it and basically we have to create a proxy over there. So just click on it and you'll be redirected over here. Now from here please pay attention to each and every step so that you are able to complete the lab without any issues. So it will take some time for the page to fully load so just wait for it. Now here you can see the proxy details. Copy from here. Copy the name carefully. Copy the base path. And here the backend URL. Come over here. You can see drag your mouse cursor and leave it. It will show. You have to paste it. And after that you have to simply create it. Okay. Cross verify everything and just click on create. So finally we have created the proxy over here and this is the first step. Click on create in case you haven't done it yet. It will take few seconds to just create. Now it is successfully created. Now here you have to click on develop and for the environments just select this and for the service ID just come over here double click select it paste over here and click on deploy and confirm. Now it is deploying it will again take some time so wait for it to get completed and then we'll move forward to the next step. Once you see this screen tick you can move forward to the next step so just come to the task number one you have to check the score and make sure you get 60 out of 100 okay you can just navigate to that task each task and check the score or enable the check my progress bar you can see here so here how to enable it if for that you can check the video description how to enable the check my progress bar. You have to simply just check the score as I am doing and please complete it carefully. You can see 40. Now we need to complete up to 60. So here let's see. Just check it. So we have got 60 out of 100 finally. Now we have to perform the next steps manually. So there will complete all the things. First of all, come to the shared flows option. Now from here, you have to upload the bundles. Where will you find the bundles? Again, come over here. You have to just download both the files to your local system, basically to your laptop or mobile 
whatever you are using now browse and upload the file here we are uploading the get address for location zip file okay not the books file or whether it was banks i think so that file we are not uploading here we are uploading this thing only so just click on create now here the first shared flows has been created you can also download it in case you haven't downloaded the second file now here comes the next step so you have to click on the develop tab you can see here so we have to just modify the develop tab here we have to do some manual task so for that please follow carefully now here you can see all these things are available over here so just scroll down and click on the default option once you have clicked on the default option you have to just come over here and in the 19 number place your cursor and just hit backspace do not change any code and then simply save it uh, what i did i was in the 19 number i just use the backspace and just clear it now here we have to deploy it so just select it as i am doing you don't need a service account here so you can just directly deploy it i hope it clears your doubt basically what we did earlier we just remove the space and come to 18th number and then we are deploying it so like this we have to deploy it will again take some time so wait for it to get completed and if you are just seeing this video is a little bit speed up so you can just decrease the speed using the youtube player okay finally it is deployed successfully now we have done the first step now just come over here come to the shared flows and here you have to just click on bank okay just click on the bank option now from here we have to just click on develop and here make sure the version is we have to import the version okay so now we have to upload the books file okay sorry banks file okay just upload it click on view revision and here just wait for everything to get updated make sure you are in revision 2 okay you can just use the drag down i'm sorry drop down and just view it now come over here now here we have to paste the api key okay so here earlier if you are not seeing the api key like this if you are seeing manual setup required then you have to create the api key manually how you have to do it first of all you need to remove entire contents from here you can just copy it and place it in a normal notepad okay let me show you how you have to do it so the first thing we have to create the api key manually okay so for that you have to just minimize it just come over here api and services click on credentials and there only will be creating the api key in case the cloud shell gets disconnected you can reconnect it now here if you are not able to modify this thing select entire content and then open in notepad you can use a personal notepad which is available on the windows or on mac so you have to just paste it and here will be just changing the api key click on create credentials api key now from here you can clearly see the api key over here come over here and just replace it select entire content paste over here once all these things are done you have to just click on save first of all then click on deploy and then from here just click on deploy and just proceed make sure the revision is second and environment is eval now here just proceed and wait for it to get completed it will again take some time one more important thing in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video finally it is successfully deployed and now i think we have to check the score in the lab instructions so once you see like this basically the green tick you have to just close it and then let's see whether we have to complete any steps or not or just check the score so many of you are asking about skill badges you can always check the master sheet now let's check the score for all the tasks and if you are unable to see the score just refresh the browser window for all the labs basically the complete solution is already live on the channel you can just navigate to the playlist section and earn maximum points so thank you have a great day ahead and just let me refresh and see the score So finally you can see we have got 100 out of 100.